Hi everyone, welcome back to Pastor Chef Dunk. It is great to be with you. You too, Andy. Always a pleasure to be here. Um, what have we got today, mate? Well, today, as per Andy's request, we're doing something different that I've never even done before myself. We're doing a really delicious dessert. This is for me, this is for you. Dessert time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so Andy, today, what are we talking about? We are speaking about the word that I didn't like really when I was growing up. The word responsibility. Okay. What do we, we have responsibility over things. We're yep. going to talk about that later. Great. Fantastic. So where do we start with our dessert today? Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is make a very simple chocolate sauce. Mm. Now this chocolate sauce can be used for all sorts of things. Decorating a cake, putting on ice cream, putting into a hot chocolate. Over really your cereal. Over your cereal. <laughs> all we've got here is some cream. If you want to put that into the hot, put this, this one here. No, this cream. This one here. That's the whipped cream for later. <laughs> Straight so, in. yeah, we've got about one cup of standard cream. And I noticed you're going into a cold pan. Now. Yeah, we don't want it to, well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, it's just going to warm up and melt. So it's really simple. Great. We've got about a quarter of a cup of milk, just so right it's here. not too thick. Yep. And then we've got about 300 grams of dark chocolate. And all you need, yep, go straight in. And all you need to do is basically bring that up to a, a melt. Uh, it's as simple as that. And you can stir that. Um, and when that's melted, you just keep it on the side. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> That's a good sound. <laughs> okay, and while you're doing that, I'm going to make a really simple batter. Because Andy has asked for something different today, and I'm taking on the challenge. So we're starting with our chocolate sauce. We're going to do a banana fritter hey. to go with the chocolate sauce. I have never made a fritter at home before. Haven't you? I don't think I've actually ever deep fried something at home before. Oh really? So this is good. Yeah. I don't know if you're the same or you've, you're a deep fried genius. but It is um, something different. So we're going to go here with some plain flour, actually self-raising flour. I've just got one cup of self-raising flour. This is melting really fast. That's okay. You can use not the sure. rubber spatula if you like to get into the corner. not sure why I'm surprised about that. <laughs> It's, it's chocolate on heat. It's, it's chocolate on heat, it melts. <laughs> I used to work in a bakery on a 40 degree, degree day, you just open up the bag and just tip out the chocolate straight from the bag. <laughs> so then we've got in here with our self-raising flour, about half a cup of caster sugar, one cup of coconut cream, and then we're going to put in about half a cup of cold water. If you want to cook this yourself, we make sure all the method and the ingredients are in the description of each video, so check that out. Absolutely. Now, how's this looking? That's pretty much there. It's pretty so quick, I, isn't it? I don't want to get too blobby. No, too blobby? Well, globular. Globular. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? That's the technical word. But you can see there, you've got this lovely chocolate sauce, and that's it, simple. And right. the technical term for this is called chocolate ganache. So do you want me to leave this on? You can just put it here and just let it cool down. Right. And while that's happening, we can leave our oil here to heat up. So this here is just plain vegetable oil, just on a low heat until it gets to about 180 degrees. Super. Coming back to this batter here, yeah. the last ingredient there was some coconut, uh, some desiccated coconut, and just a little bit of vanilla extract. Yum. So this is a really good dessert, great one for the kids. Obviously this stage you do yourself, but I'm sure the kids would really get into eating this. So, fritterizing the banana. <laughs> fritterizing the banana, yeah. Fritterizing the ban banana is yeah. all about that, that crispiness which adds to dishes, adds to cooking, gives it that difference, doesn't it? Yeah, well, when you've got this beautiful soft banana yeah. and then that crispy outside, yeah. it's really delicious. Yum. And I think as a chef, that's what we you know, have to do. We have to make sure that we are always creating something different for the customer. I'm looking forward to it. Mm. Um, now, speaking about responsibility, like we shared about to begin with, mm. man, responsible. I had to learn that when I was a teenager and my kids are learning that at the moment, what it is to be responsible with yeah. our lives and, and when it comes to doing your homework, kids, and being responsible to do your homework. Yeah. But for you, it's a bit different, mate. So talk. About, I want you to talk a little bit about you know, owning your own business and the responsibility you have in owning a business. Absolutely. Well, you know, in terms of owning a business, I used to always sort of think it as ownership. Yeah. You know, like I own the business and what can I do with the business? But that key word responsibility is really yeah. what it is. I mean, I'm just responsible for making sure the business runs the best it can and that my staff are happy, that our customers are happy, mm. and also that responsibility to to God. I mean, when we opened this business, my wife and I said, there's three partners in this business, God and us, mm, you know, mm. we have to work with him. So my responsibility is just to steward this restaurant the best way I can yep. for, for God. Yeah, you know? good. 
Absolutely. So what we're going to do here with this banana, I'm just going to cut that into some pieces that are sort of bite size or mouth size, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Just on a slight angle there. Just and for just, prettiness. Just the to angle. make it pretty, that's yeah, right. Yeah. And they just go straight into the batter like yeah. that. And then we just coat them with the coconut milk batter. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to place them straight into the hot oil, just one at a time. Is that hot? Do you want to have a go at it? I'll yeah, please. It. So just straight in like that. Look at that. Beautiful. That's it. Ow! Ow! <laughs> just joking. Just joking. It's okay. I'm good. <laughs> keep going? You keep going. Let's get at least four in there. So again, you could do this with a pineapple fritter, oh. with a banana fritter, apple fritter. Um, it's just a really lovely way to have fruit. What about a cherry fritter? You could do a cherry fritter. What about a lychee fritter? You ever had one of those? I think you're pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just going to fry in there until they're nice and crispy. How many have we got? We've got one more? I think this is the last one. Excellent. So we'll... Yep. That's it. <laughs> you're just getting... I'm <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> okay. So uh, you always need to wash your fingers on something, don't you? Well, well like, what else am I going to do? I, like, well, I can let's, batter them. You take that end. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, done. Keep it clean. There we go. Excellent. So they're just going to fry, and I'll just turn those halfway through when they get crispy on the bottom side. Yeah, nice one. Now, I want to talk about um, responsibility, mm -hmm. because ownership and responsibility uh, kind of go hand in hand when you're an owner of something and we all are like whether we're a parent of our children whether we own a business whether we're a part of a business or whether we are doing exams whatever we have ownership over the moments that we have right but with there's an overall owner and I want to talk about that and okay. which leads us to our verse of the day today which is from Psalm 24 and it says this the earth is the Lord's and everything in it the world and all its people belong to him for he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean's depths. And when we think about ownership in that context, the Lord owns the whole lot. Right. And we, when it's a business, it's like, you know, there is an above owner above that as well. Mm. And man, it gives us peace when we're able to live. And the word I like to use is, is open-handed. And when it comes to my family, although I have responsibility, the Lord has responsibility over that. And so I'm able to live open-handed knowing that He is indeed Lord over all. And He's actually in charge. He's actually in charge. <laughs> yeah, that's and right. for a business, for yours, there are certain things that you can impact. There are certain things that are actually out of your control. Right. But they're not out of God's control. And I love that thought. It brings so much peace to my life knowing that He is the owner and Lord over all. Absolutely. And you're right. You can That, that applies to everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Business, home, yeah. everything. Yeah. Just leave it to Him. Absolutely. Now these are looking pretty good, mate. They're browning up a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. They're looking good. Um, so this is self-raising flour. I'm not sure if I pointed that out before, but the self-raising flour makes them puff up so they become nice and ah. puffy as well as yep. crispy. Yep. Great. Um, over here we've got some strawberries. Yes. Um, if you want to just maybe get one or two of those strawberries and slice them up. I'm going to slice them on an angle because that's pretty. You can cut them on an angle if you like. Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. Like that. Now, as always... Should I put my finger down the knife or should I just do this? Um, honestly, the best way to hold it is to wrap your finger around the top here, but don't put your finger underneath, of course, and actually hold it. And that stops the knife twisting that way. Like this? Yeah, so, so just wrapping your finger around there so that you've got ah, complete okay. control. That's there. it. There you go. There you go. Oh, geez, that's uncomfortable. Is it? That's oh, yeah. all right. You're oh, doing yes. a great job. Thank you. So, as always on Pasta Chef, we always have a bit of a twist. And whilst we've got our beautiful, crispy, banana fritters that you can eat with the chocolate sauce. And to be honest, that is a dish in itself. You could put those on the plate, fresh fruit, and you're done. But Andy likes to challenge me always. Mm -hmm. And he said, hey, Dunk, any chance you can do a bow bun? <laughs> <laughs> I lost sleep last night thinking about this, but <laughs> we're gonna give it a go. So bow buns are all the rage. Hey. So I've got some bow buns here. Yeah. Um, these are just from the shop, Andy. Yeah, no, you can I get think, them anywhere. I think every shop sells them at the moment because they're so popular. Again, we try not to reinvent the wheel here at Pasta Chef. We yeah. don't want to make all these things from scratch. You can go for it if you want, but this is the easy way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so you can put these into a standard steamer over boiling water, but what I like to do is just put some water, just spray some water in a microwave container, and I'll just put those in for about two minutes. Is that enough strawberries? That is enough strawberries. Absolutely ample. Great. So you can see here the fritters are beautiful and brown, nice and crispy. 
and then we'll just put those onto some paper towel. Is there any rule about how many you should have in the oil to give it a bit of room? Absolutely. For them to yeah. Well, you want them to have room to move, but you also, um, yeah, you don't want to overcrowd it. Yeah. But also, you don't want to just put one in, do you? Because then there's not enough for everyone to eat. Yeah. So we'll just take those out, put them onto paper towel, mm. just to soak up that oil. Our bow buns I'll have... Get them, I'll get them, I'll get them, I'll get them. Stay there. Right, no worries. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> All right, how are they looking? They're looking good. How do you know you haven't opened it yet? <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> so they're, they're nice and steamed. And all we need to do now, I'll put that there, is we open up the bow bun. Oh, oh they're very hot, oh, very hot. Oh, they're pre-cut. They're pre-cut. That's helpful. Look at that, ready to go. We'll take one of our banana fritters. Do you want to grab that chocolate sauce? Yes. Oh, they are hot. Now, with the chocolate sauce, have you got a spoon there? I've got a spatula. Go. A spatula. Yeah. You can drizzle some chocolate sauce. Do you want me to just drizzle? As long as you don't get my hand. Yeah, go for it. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Enough? Yeah, that's perfect. Good. I'm going to grab a strawberry. I might even grab a couple of blueberries since they're there. And why not a dollop of cream? Well, why not? Get creative with this. Ooh. Now, since this was your idea, uh, I think you should be the taste tester. Now, be careful because that will be hot. I, I, unlike your um, your taste buds that are probably burnt to a crisp, mine are not yet. So I'm going to wait to eat this until it cools down a little bit. Okay. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, that's oh, fine. Good. Good. Uh, uh, funny. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think this episode should just be called the blooper episode. <laughs> hey, everyone. So... By this stage of the episode, we'd actually trimmed a lot out because a lot didn't go right for us. <laughs> uh, but right now, we're just going to leave the rest in. So have a look at the conversation that happened from here and enjoy. Cheers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Because <laughs> I can't even go back to that, that stuff because it just feels so wrong at the, at the moment. Hey, it's never wrong much. to go back to God's word. Uh, look, Dunk, you are exactly right. Never wrong. And on that, I want to encourage you around responsibility and understanding that God is the owner of all. And the big word that I want to remind you of is that though he is the owner of all, for us as followers of Christ, he is also Lord. And so we don't do this just out of obligation right. because we think that we have to, but we do this because we want to, because he is our Lord. Right. He is our Saviour. And we want to offer this all to him and steward what he has given us well. Yeah. So I know that's a bit of a serious note on what's been a bit of a crazy episode, but <laughs> it's all true. And um, and God gives us joy to be able to experience Well, that's it. right, isn't it? We're here for fun yeah. and we're here to do some cooking and yeah. we're here to talk. Yeah. And if coming up with a crispy banana fritter and chocolate sauce bao bun <laughs> is what you have brought me to cook today, yeah. more importantly, what Andy, what you have shared with us today is so important yeah and that's what we really need to take away from this is, is, is god's love and god's word and his ownership that's it exactly right mm. anyway go away try this or mate if you don't like bad ones stick it with a pancake and it'll be fine but hopefully you've learned some skills and we would love to see you next time in the next one i don't even think he's willing to try it i'm gonna <laughs> eat it don't worry we'll see you soon see you soon <laughs>